Hello, thanks for joining me today. I was asked by Unwhite Gluten Free Recipes to do a video on planting thyme and rosemary. I have thyme, I don't have rosemary, but I do have lavender, and these plants all require the same type of care. Now, as for thyme, there are three main types the first one is british or sorry french or english thyme and then this is the most common variety then you have the lemon thyme which have a hint of lemon flavor and you have the caraway thyme as well now for planting thyme You can plant thyme from seeds or from the cuttings and they can be planted in the ground when the temperature reaches around 70 degrees Fahrenheit and this is usually about two to three weeks before the last frost and it must be planted in well-drained soil nine inches apart. The young plants can be spaced 12 to 14 inches apart um, my apologies the young plant can be spaced 12 to 24 inches apart depending on the variety that you have the plants should grow about 6 to 12 inches in height they can be planted close to cabbage and tomato if you're planting them in, a, in the ground if you're planting them in container they can be planted with rosemary or lavender because the rosemary and the lavender and the thyme they all require the same type of care now how do you care for it thyme lavender and rosemary they do not like a lot of water they like dry soil and so you're going to water them deeply only when the soil is completely dry you can prune the plants back in the spring and summer and this will contain the growth and if you have cold winter remember to lightly mulch around the plants after the ground freezes Three to four year old plants need to be divided or replaced because older plants are woody and the leaves have less flavor. You can take some cuttings and plant them indoors in pots too. How do you take cuttings of thyme, rosemary and um, lavender? Clip a three inch cutting from the very tip of a stem Apply root hormone on the exposed portion of the stem and plant it in either sterile sand or vermic vermic vermiculite. Roots will emerge within about six weeks and then you transfer it to a small plot and let the root ball form and then transfer it to a larger pot or directly into the ground. The disease is that Time, rosemary and these plants tend to have are gray mold root rot gray mold and root rot how do you harvest it time can be harvested just before the plants start flowering and you do this by cutting off the top five to six inches of growth leave the tough woody part you don't really need that and it doesn't really have much flavor because that part is a bit old it is best to harvest time in the morning after the dew has dried clean leaves should not be washed because it removes some of the essential oil that is on the thyme leaves two or more crops may be gathered during the season or if you keep trimming your thyme plant it will keep growing and also 
keep a compact shape but always leave at least five inches of growth of plant so that it will continue to thrive trim time whenever it is leggy fresh time should be stored refrigerated wrapped lightly in plastic and it should last two weeks to dry time you hang the sprig in a dark well ventilated warm area or you can just dry the leaves by placing them on a tray once dried store them in an airtight container crush just before you're ready to use it and under good conditions herb will maintain their maximum flavor for up to two years another way that you can preserve time is by freezing it and here is a little tip for you on time did you know that if you burn time indoors it helps to get rid of insects in your house how do you grow rosemary from cuttings one is that you're going to select shoots from the mother plant and you're going to use the healthy stems with fresh growth and the younger ones are better you're gonna take the cuttings by using a sharp scissors and cut about six inches back and cut plenty of extra stems just in case some of them fail to grow you're going to strip off the lower leaf and you're going to strip off the lower two inches of needle from the stem of the rosemary cutting stick it the, the cuttings in a jar of water and place the jar in a warm place away from sunlight then you're going to change the water every couple of days replacing it with room temperature water the fresh water provide, provides dissolved oxygen and prevent the cuttings from rotting the rosemary stem should grow roots in a few weeks depending on the temperature and it can take longer in colder temperatures after about four to eight weeks it should be apparent if the rosemary cutting have survived the cuttings that don't survive will be brown and shed the needle so if your rosemary cutting is still alive give it some more time now you're going to be planting it into small pots say four inches or so but as the rosemary grows you want to transplant it into a bigger pot or into the ground if you are going to plant it in the ground now rosemary is very robust when it is established so here is how you can keep it healthy and producing you must grow it in a sunny location as mentioned before and water it when the soil only when the soil is dry repot if necessary and planting it in pot is a very good idea if you intend to store it in indoors during the winter rosemary need to be pruned frequently the more you trim the bushier the plants will grow prune the plant after flowers to keep it compact so unlike the time that you want to prune before it flowers and mine is already flowering there the rosemary you want to prune after it has flowered now here are some some tips for growing rosemary indoors if you have house plant it is a good idea to quarantine your rosemary plant when you bring them indoors keep the plant in a separate location for a while to be sure that there are no hick tickers <laughs> sorry <laughs> how did i come to hick tickers i mean hitchhikers pests or diseases 
and then you want to put the plant in a bright south facing windows alternatively you can use grow lights or keep your plants happy during the winter months and if you're growing it in the window then you might want to rotate the container with the rosemary that way it does not just keep leaning in one direction and rosemary like to be a bit on the cooler side during the winter so keep the plants away from heat source and wood stove it likes to have temperatures during the winter between 60 and 65 degrees so although winter although rosemary likes to be warm heat too much heat will sap the moisture from the hair and drops the humidity so you might want to compensate by misting your rosemary plant frequently running a humidifier or place and you can place your rosemary on a tray of pebbles and water to increase the humidity around the plant A common pest for indoor rosemary plants are the aphids and the spider mites, the red ones, the spittle bugs and the white flies. These pests suck on the plants and cause the foliage to wilt and dry up. So you need to inspect your rosemary plants frequently for pests and control with organic insecticides. Okay, so that is our tip on how to grow rosemary and thyme and lavender as well so they need to be planted in well drained soil and it is recommended that you don't have a lot of mulch around these plants because mulch holds water and these plants love dry conditions you only water them when their surroundings or the soil around them is very dry okay so that's it for now if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends if you're new to my channel welcome thank you all for watching i hope you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification for more informative videos like these have yourself a wonderful day